Good evening to you all. This is Cafe Clairvoyance. We are on, would you believe it, we're almost, we've gone over three quarters of the way through January and already we're about, uh, you know, the 24th, aren't we? Wow, it's 8pm, it's in the EU, it's a Monday evening. Of course, what other show would it be other than Cafe Clairvoyance? And tonight I've got a wonderful special guest who's going to be joining me. Really looking forward to this and uh, yes, to get back into the action of things. And uh, as you'll see, it's probably going to be a very, very lively evening. And with you guys in store in tow, well, what better could we get? I mean, even Helen Graham here straight away. She says, hi, a lady economical with words, would you not say? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Tease, tease, tease. Anyway, before we get too carried away, I think we need to do... A little bit of this. Lovely, lovely to see you guys here. And uh, already we've got some, some wonderful comments here. And Paul even says here, he says, twice in one day, can I cope? We can't tell you what went on earlier, but it's uh, it's top secret. Yes. <laughs> if we told you, we'd have to kill you. <laughs> it's that secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, right. Okay, so just say, hey guys, this is just for you out there. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and joining us there. We've got... Uh, we got Yvonne Power, she says, hi. We got Lisa Morgan, says, evening, everyone. How's everyone doing? Well, back here in the studio, we're doing pretty well fine, thank you very much. And uh, Susanna says, hi. Loads of people coming in, and so does Sandra Park. She says, hi there, lovely to see you people. And as does Ellie. So guys, thank you very much for joining in, lovely to see you, and uh, let's have a great fun evening tonight. Now. Uh, one thing I'd like to say, oh, it's lovely to see people haven't seen around for a while. So, Sally, Sally, it's lovely to see you. In fact, let's give you one of these. Like that? Oh, yes. And uh, we've got Carol Matthews. And, uh, yeah, she says, not been here for a while. Where you been? Even Charlie Banks is here. Wow. Wow. Do you see? Guys, Charlie Banks is here. Oh, wow. Wow. I know. Wow. I know. I know. It's, it's incredible. Anyway, guys, so... Um, a uh, load, of, load of stuff for you tonight. So what's going to come on here? Okay, well, I'm going to be interviewing and I get this wrong all the time. And I know she's going to say to me here, she said, you got it wrong again. You got it wrong again. And basically every time I try to say her name, she says, no. So I'm going to try this. And I, I think there's uh, not a time here then to go find out a, if she's there, but uh, I think she's on her way to the studio right now and find out where she is. But uh, um Anyway, but her name is Midia. I can get that bit right. That bit I can get right. But then I have to get Hadja Zena Zena Fontos. And I know she's going to say you got it wrong. But I tried. I tried. Yeah, I tried. Anyway, so, uh, and uh, as we're going on here through the show, she's going to be coming on. She should be here very shortly. And uh, it should be really good. Now, she's into, I don't know if you know about this, but she loves doing all the, all the fitness stuff. And it is fantastic when she actually comes along, because you often hear her before she arrives. Yeah, yeah she hears you get along the studio. I mean, we just got a, we got the studio microphones on now, just see what's happening. Any minute now, any minute now, we should hear the doorbell go. Isn't this fun, isn't this fun? I mean, what else do you want to do on a Saturday, on a Monday night? Yes, here it goes. Oh, there she is. Hey, there she is. Right. Okay. We're going to be lovely to welcome into the show the wonderful Midia. Hey! How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Oh, it was lovely everyone. to see you again. It's lovely to see you again. And last time I think Ron was about uh, July. July, June, July, last, uh, last year. Has it yes. been that long, really? Yes, I know. I know. You haven't changed one little bit. Yeah, I get better all the time. <laughs> you get better all the time. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. And that's that's what I say. Even though I get the odd little funny wrinkles here and there, my mind is still still young. So you've got to be like that, I think. Yes. Anyway, so um, as we cruise on with the show tonight, basically, 
what have you been up to? Tell us, tell us what you've been up to. Um, since July, um, I've taken a bunch of courses and generally used all these few months to to work on myself and to see how I can become a better version, not a better version of me, the realist uh, version of me. And from that state of being help others. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. So your work here, because um, I know, I know a, a fair bit about your work, but when I read your article, which is uh, what we did in the Cafe Clairvoyance magazine, I was just going to show you this. So if you haven't read this, read the article on media. It really is good. This one here. So that's it. I'll just completely chop myself out of the way. But uh, there it is there. That's the magazine. And in there, as it says, featured guests, media. And your article in there, what you wrote there, was absolutely fabulous. And uh, tell you where you come from and what you'd overcome in your life to become still be a performer and a, and up to the Olympic standards be a performer, even though the circumstances that took your opportunities away, you weren't going to give in. Well, um, we are not what life makes of us. We are what we make of life. Ah, I like that. So, I like that. I, I think that's quite auspicious. I think that's uh, I think yeah. that's pretty wow. Wow. I know. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that almost sounds like almost sounds like a Austin Powers. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> we ought to we ought to go and bring him on the show. We're going to find a voiceover for Austin Powers. And oh yes, oh, hi, Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yep, yep, yep. That's uh, Sally Mardell says true, and uh, and also uh, here's from here's from the uh, Cafe Claire voice itself, uh, the wonderful Deborah who's producing the show. And she also says here, now, just to read out this, guys, uh, just so you can read this, right, Cavi Clairvoyance does not endorse scammers. Uh, we don't go and look for them. So if they come on the show, please block them. Uh, do not, we do not answer any medical questions, so please refer to your own medical practice. For a mini reading tonight, please give one colour and one question. Uh, Cavi Clairvoyance Spiritual Show is also available on YouTube. It is free to subscribe. Now, what you may find here, I'll tell you this, guys, because this is the new geometry, is that the right word? The analytical stuff that comes up through some of the um, uh, social media platforms is that every now and then you'll get a tiny interruption in the show saying, live show, live show. That's purely, there's nothing to do with our setup, our equipment. It's purely down to what social media is doing. But I do know that if you link to YouTube, it doesn't happen. Just to let you know. So in future times there, and also you could also see all the comments, you could still interact and you could still put your blurbs across there. And we put it up here too. So you see it all. Yes, how's that? Yes. Yvonne says, thanks for saying hi. No, that's okay, hi. We'll even say it again, Yvonne. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> that's lovely. I like that, brilliant. And, uh, uh, right, okay, and yes, we've got some questions and things coming up soon. So, um, yes, because the energy, how are you finding the energy out there at the moment? Uh, wobbly, to say. No, <laughs> well, be wobbly. Now, I've got a great yeah. name for this. Wobbly is Blamange. What's, what's that? Blamange. Blanche, when you grow up as a kid, and everybody here is probably going to recognize Blamange. But it's it's it was like a pudding or a dessert, and a bit like jelly, except this stuff you couldn't see through. You couldn't see through. It was, but it tasted awesome, and used to have it with evaporated milk, which in those days we all thought was fantastic for us, <laughs> and it still is. Yes, it still is. Still is good, and uh, it's fantastic in some respects. It, as a kid, you probably thought more of your dessert, especially if you knew blancmange was coming rather than actually the main deal itself, even though bangers and mash and things like this. Yes, Sally Maddell says, totally, totally, that's right. Yes, Blamange, it's that, that's how you spell it. I, I've always wondered how to spell it. I thought it's B-L-O. So it's Blamange, it's fantastic. Blamange. Most of the time, I believe, it was pink. We're gonna right. send you over the recipe for Blamange then, Midia, because you Cypriots have been missing out in your life. I Blamange. bet, I bet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. So, um, <clears throat> okay. So, 
let's have a little look about what we're going to do tonight so so tonight what we're yeah. going to do is loads of live mini readings we're going to get loads of questions here coming through for you guys and that's going to have a fun evening how's that sound good perfect i think it sounds good good okay we're going to do a little bit of this first of all guys and this is what we'd like you to do whether you're coming in from fb whether you're coming in from yt <laughs> you know fb the, the abbreviations yt and uh coming into those please do this Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, lovely to see you tonight. And it's also lovely to see you people from abroad. Santa, Santa coming in, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. And I know uh, some of you from all over the all over the planet, it's lovely to see. I know some of you at the moment are still fast asleep in bed because it's the wrong time. And others of you is oh, in wow. the middle of the morning at some point and you're probably working. But uh, the good news is this goes up onto um, the dusty archives of... Uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook and so you can re-watch it and uh, replay yes now uh, in the meantime guys let's go out there and have a look so people are, are writing in and what we asked is that you just write in with a color and a question and we tune in with that and that's all we want uh, we're working with this because then we can do a little mini readings for you guys and get things through we've got loads of people to work with tonight and uh, that's that's good and uh, let's go and have a little old look and see who's coming up. Oh, uh, Val Walter says, hello, everyone. And uh, Venetia says she's now in Spain. Yes, she was there in the UK. And, and they're wonderful stuff. So let's, uh, let's get on with it. All right. Uh, so first of all is a very nice lady called Lisa Morgan. She, she wrote, she went in here. In fact, I was just looking for Lisa because she was down there. There she is. There she is. And she said, uh, Edith Phil and everyone, how's everyone doing? And her question was, question was, Elisa's question was, uh, her colour was blue. Will, will a relationship happen between me and this guy? This guy, yes. Will a relationship happen between me and this guy? So uh, we're going to endeavour to answer this. Now, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of the mediumship, but um, I'm also going to use some cards. And also, uh, Midia, anything you pick up at all about Lisa? Yes. Go for it. Go um, for it. Oh, I guess you tuned in already. This is exciting. Stuff. Yeah. Before I even heard the question, I felt, um, I felt a presence, a male presence, and also sorrow in the lung area, in the lungs area. So, uh, I'm not sure I'm feeling a possibility for a relationship at the moment because of stuff that the the man in the situation is going through internally he might not even be aware of it that okay. he is going through what he's going through um generally speaking i feel a very powerful uh presence okay uh, so he, he's a very kind-hearted man but with a lot of unresolved um sorrow issues this is the word that's coming up all the time sadness sorrow that needs to be dealt with Okay, okay, all right. So we got a few issues there. So that's interesting. Now I would uh, the energy at the moment. If I'm saying guys for relationships is uh, is a bit out the window. It's a bit like this Blamon stuff. It's like wobbling all over the place. You're trying to get a bit of grounding with with that going on. Uh -uh. It's uh, it's a funny one because Venus is retrograde. It's at the point where it's coming to its stationary point and then it goes direct. The interesting thing is with retrograde, when um, it's all right when they're going one direction and it's all right when they're going the other. It's when they slow down to stop, to come back around the other way, that all the force and energy starts to come up. Now, uh, what we mean by that is, is sometimes here, if there's a complication difficulty, it can seem worse than what it is. It can seem bigger than what it is. And this particular relationship you're in here, uh, I totally agree with you. I think here is interesting. You're talking about, you said about lung areas, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. And I, I get a feeling here that uh, maybe there's something to do with this guy's health. And also spiritually, this would also mean about the pressure he's put is on his life from the past there that he's not happy with. And also about 
his financial situation and also the old relationship situations around him. So if I was to look at the color blue, which is brilliant for this, I would be in your element and I would say here to be highly, highly responsible for yourself. And this is not a rush forward color, but a really observant color. Use your wisdom on this. Gently, gently, gently does it. I can see the talking, but it doesn't seem to get anywhere just yet. If the timing isn't right, if you really want to be with this guy, I think you've got to hold on time a bit. Yeah. Time go yeah. by. Okay. Right. Anything else? Can I, can I add something onto that? And yes. um, Lisa, please do let us know if it makes sense. Um, I feel that the more you invest before it's time to in you invest in this, it's taking your power away because I, I can feel it affecting your, your own body uh, as well. So okay. trust mm. what your body is telling you with regards to this situation and you should be fine. Okay. 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 There you go. What a bit of advice. So taking care of yourself first of all. Okay. Susanna, Susanna's written in, she says here, green feels pulled towards doing more uh, physical work. Pull, pull towards more physical work. Okay, all right, let's have a look at this. And probably I think there's more spiritual work as well. I think that's a little bit about what you meant, meant there too. So uh, the color green, now I like this color, especially when you're working on healing anyway, it's it's a lovely color. And I, I it, for me, it's one of the first stages of healing is the color green. And uh, normally ends up, from, uh, when I work with this, normally ends up as a color gold. Do you like working with colors? Yes, yes. And I agree completely with you. It starts with green. And as we move towards uh, our healed state, it turns into gold. This is amazing. We actually agree. Yes, actually agree. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. I know. Wow. I know. <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Anyway, so uh, let's go. Okay, so um, I think here, if you're working more spiritually, you're at a point at something, even if you've been doing this before, there could be something more uh, spiritual coming out about this, about your work now. That's one thing I would say. And and I get a feeling here too, that this is down to, not about whoom, shooting forwards. I get the feeling of like, feel this very gently. And uh, the, air, the energy center pick up you, it's your gut. Listen to your gut with this. Listen to the vibration there. That's my feeling. What would you like to say? Um, I've, I picked up exactly the same gut area. And um, Susanna, I, I already know that you are very connected with, uh, with the spiritual realm. But I have a sense that if you start working a bit more through your body as well and what you're feeling and what you're receiving within your body, your ability to to pull information in, it's going to be beyond this world. That is lovely. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Oh, that is beautiful. I think as well here is not to rush this. Uh, if you rush this, I can see by the card say you'll get, oh, it's not working as well as I want it to. But I think your good, yeah. wise words. Good yeah. wise words. Let it come to you. Yeah, let it come to you, Susanna. Let it come to you. How's, how's that? Sound good? Good. Brilliant. All right. We're going to go and have a word with a lady called Joe Gardner. And she says, hello, everyone. So, hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. She writes in here, oh, we're definitely going on the love stuff tonight. It's definitely what the Venus stuff. And uh, love reading, am I on the right path? Oh, and it's red. Now, uh, it's interesting here. My first real spiritual impression around you is a lovely lady who comes straight through to me. And she would like to say to you to just... Uh, don't doubt what you're on, I don't pick up here, but to just go with the flow. Remember Blamange, wobbly, wobbly, but it's still contained, it's not falling apart, and uh, but it's still there. So I get a feely here to say to you, Joe, just, uh, yeah, red is on the right path here. And um, the other thing here is I, I'm sort of picking up here, just be careful not to expect too much just at the moment. That's, that's my impression there. What would you, anything you would like to say to Joe to give her heaps of encouragement? Um, I'm sensing some fear. I'm not sure which side it's coming from, uh, but it feels insignificant to the total 
um, outcome and potential of this. Yeah, just okay. be aware that there is some fear involved. Um, it, it can be resolved through communication and not just communication. I'm, I'm picking up the word comprehension. So it's not just about saying on listen or listening, but understanding what each side is, is trying to communicate. Okay. It's really interesting listening to how you work because you're, it's like you're reading through the body to get the answer. Yes, that's exactly how it's happening wow. for me. I'm not going to do another well. No, I've already done another yeah. one. <laughs> I'll do something else in a minute. And uh, <laughs> how about how about a hoot? That's, yeah, there you go. Oh. There you go. That, that's nice. That's nice. And uh, oh, how about this one? There you go. That'll do. That's almost a similar. Anyway, so yeah, so you read through the body to pick up the energy, the spiritual energy, what's going on. Yes. That's, because that's... our our bodies are the best antenna that we can get information from. It's picking up um vibrations and and information around us that we are not able to understand through yep. our minds yet yeah. okay okay because it, it just sounds it just sounds to me like there's such an energy with this that to read through body like you say the antenna it's, it's amazing i'm i like the energy around the the aura colors and i love the energy working that way so it's great to work differently but i just find that Brilliant to be able to work that way. Okay. All righty. Right. Uh, Linda Charles written in. She says she's gone for the color yellow and she'd like a general reading. A general reading. Okay. So uh, just working with you, Linda. And uh, I would like to say here, there's... Um, okay. I just would like to pick up on uh, a particular lady who's actually coming through for you, Linda. And um, I like to work this way, just for the mediumship, see so what we uh, uh, pick up here. And it's interesting because um, I'm just being told not to not to doubt this year at all, not to doubt it, and to be worried about it. Uh, I get a feeling here to say to you that um, a lot of uh, new options are going to be open to you, especially on a financial side to you, a little bit later on, and it's going to mean a lot to you, especially where you live. And it may well be that you're going to go and do a move. And um, there's someone, this lady here called Joyce. She just stepped through. She said, my name is Joyce. Um, I used to know a lady called Joyce. It's a really old-fashioned name, that. I love that name. I think it's, it's a great name for, a, in modern times, it's a great name for your cat, isn't it? Like Joyce, your cat. But anyway, sorry. But um, humiliate. sorry. Anyway, so this lady there I just pick up. She's, her name is, is Joyce. And... She would like to come through. Just stand beside me and she just wants to say here that uh, she's looking towards a birthday which comes up in later on this year and she's seeing a lot more venture, openness and fun. Yes, that's the bit I like to say. So go on then, Lydia. What's, what's your bit? What do you pick up from from Linda's body? Um, I, I wasn't picking up anything to start with, but once you started saying... Um, what you're picking up, I felt yeah. like um, a sense of an anxiety, like, oh my God, what am I supposed to anticipate? What's coming ahead? Um, Linda, don't try to anticipate what's coming because life is the, is the ultimate um, deconditioning tool if we allow it to be. It will make you take the next step it will make you feel uncomfortable where you are it will make your body your mind want more you will know when it's time to do each of the things that are coming ahead for you okay don't okay. don't go in in the um, don't try to anticipate it because it's causing you more anxiety i like that and i think it's a very wise thing to say unless uh, it's sort of on the lines i sort of pick up they're similar to say don't worry about things so much. But she just said there's two yeah. gentlemen, their birthdays are very close to each other. And I get the feeling of May, month of May. That's also a turning point around you. So hopefully that, that all makes sense there. But thank you very much, Linda, for joining us. And uh, let's go on to a very nice lady called Sandra Park. She says, hi there. And Sandra's written in, she says, yellow general reading. Now, well, are we all on the same, have you all psychically connected, guys? What's going on here? You're all saying about yellows okay all right but let's let's go and have a look here um sorry no magenta bigger pardon i read the wrong one 
sorry, I'm going to get shot. The uh, producer's going to say, yes, you can shoot me. Right, Magenta, dear friends, fellow medium has passed over. Our dear friend and fellow medium has passed over. Colour Magenta. Right, okay. Dear, yeah, dear, 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 dear. Um, and... Okay, would you understand, uh, uh, would you understand a, a very funny, uh, I get the feeling, a very funny man, a very funny man, I've got humour, so the media I say would have passed up, would you understand humour? Um, I get humour first of all, and also I want to say here that this guy wasn't just a medium, he used to work, he also used to work with steel things, and I get this, this is the first one I pick up here, if this is a woman who's passed over, I'm sorry, I can't help that one, but I'm getting a gentleman here, who wants a great humour, uh, who also, he wanted his powerful man, he says he almost gives a feeling of like running things, running things, being a boss somewhere, and, uh, but I also get the feeling of something to do with uh, industry, kind of, it's almost like construction and things like this. But this guy would have definitely worked his worked his his hard life. But uh, yes, okay, um, all right, yes. I'll pass you over to I'll pass you over to Mitty. Mitty, what would you like to say? Um, Sandra, I'm feeling yeah, very humorous, um, masculine energy, but it feels like this man was also carrying a lot of weight on his shoulders because the moment your name came on the screen I felt big pain on my on my shoulder and neck area which means I wait, my body translates it as uh, weight not necessarily of the person who was carrying it okay. and uh, they're in a lot they are they are in in a far better place now and Ooh, yes, and they they will be helping a lot more from where they are at now than from where they were before. That's what I'm. Okay, yes. that's lovely. That's lovely. Um, I want to say here. I'm just giving the message to say here. The sight to see. This is the message to you, Sandra. You're going to get a stronger sight to see. Mm, that's lovely. Okay, yeah. we're, we're moving on down. We're going off to, we came off to um, near Liverpool area, I think, to a very nice lady called Ashley Hardy. And she says, hi all. And she says here, yellow and a love reading. Yes, this is, we're back to the yellows again. And uh, I like, I like yellows. If you want to interrupt me at all, you're saying, oh, I've got this, I've got this, I know what it's saying here, just, just let me know. And, uh, but the colour yellow, I like this, I like colour yellow, but it also is a free colour. It's a very free energy colour that you've chosen for this here. And uh, as I am as I like to talk here, I also get a feeling of two spirits wanting to draw close to you. And uh, one of them is interesting because his name began with D. And I, I don't mean dad. I don't mean dad. I, I mean a gentleman's name. Or, uh, yeah, I get a feeling his gentleman's name began with D. And uh, as he's <coughs> they're drawing near to you, the, the yellow colour, I get the feeling here is, is keep free but keep talking, keep free, keep talking, and keep your options open. I wouldn't be too fixed on things. And also, let's say to you, this is a this is a secret that if we found out this in life, we would find out so much. Don't take the first reaction of people as being the genuine one, especially if it's conflicting to your interests, because there's another feeling underneath. You just have to wait. Just have to wait here. Keep talking. There's a wise lady in you, Ashley. And I think of you with that yellow colour there. I'd really be inclined to look at that. So, yes. Go on, go on, Midia. What do you pick up? Um, Ashley, trust what your body is telling you about the person you have in front of you. Like Phil said, you will be able, you are able to, to discern who is genuine and who is not. You, 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 I have a sense that you feel it in your gut mostly, but your heart is also able to pick that up. So focus on whether the, the person you have in front of you is it's giving your body a heart opening experience or if it's shutting you down and, and trust those feelings. I think that, 100%. I think that's a very nice thing to say. 
Very nice thing to say. I get that. Uh, I get a lovely feeling there. And I'd say to you, whatever's going on in your life, actually, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself, yes. and don't expect anything of each uh, of anyone else. Just know in your own heart that your energy is quite clear. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. one of the things I'd like to say to you there. Um, and another thing, you have many options, actually. And if you don't already see them, you will be seeing them very soon. There you go. There you go. Yeah. How's that? How is that? And she says, thank you to you both. That's very nice. You're very, very welcome. You're welcome. Right. Okay. I'm looking for uh, the next one here. And this is uh, Lisa Hemingway. I'm just seeing if Lisa is here. Lisa, if you're there, just let us know. Um, otherwise, uh, we like to uh, work with people who are here. If she's uh, there, she may do it too. I'll tell you what, I'll come back. So I can't see Lisa there at the moment. Right. Kerry Burville, yellow. Hmm. Um, okay, Kerry Burgle says yellow. Just lost someone we love. Would like, uh, would like a reading. Uh, yeah, would like a reading. Kerry Burgle. Okay. You know. Now, would you understand it? Now, the only oh, crap. This always happens. This happens, and uh, you get swamped by this here. Um, I get the feeling. I get the feeling here to say to you that um, Kerry, that although you're saying you've lost someone uh, we love, I've got loads. Of them around you i'm almost got like a feels like a football team there's loads of them loads of them over here but uh i get a feeling here to say love and if i said to you large eyes the person you're talking about here had large eyes i could see large eyes and also i'd like to say here the throat area as a reason possible reasons to it passing and would you understand here too this person would have <clears throat> held this back they wouldn't have want to let people know about this uh, like they want to try and keep it to themselves. And also, I get a feeling here that uh, they knew where they're going because they saw it before they passed. And they're very happy there with the people that they're with. Very happy. And uh, and there's something I've got to say here. Uh, you're probably going to go... Um, we're going to go bonkers here. But what I, what I pick up here is I get a sneaky feeling there's going to be another car coming. And, uh, but I don't think you're gonna like the news of this, but there is, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pass you over. I'm gonna pass you over to Midian and see what she says. Uh, I'm all, I also picked up the, um, the throat as a, mm. as a possible cause of, uh, of, the, of the passing um, away. Uh, okay. And also, I wanna say kidneys, yeah. Okay. Uh, but they are definitely, I, 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 I can feel the tension in those two areas of my, of my body, but also the liberation that came after. Okay. So, oh, I'm getting quite emotional. Trust that they're doing very well where they are. And also, it's interesting there. I also get a name, but I'm, I don't know where this name is, but I've got to say this name, the name of Beryl, the Beryl being over there as well. And um, but uh, you're getting lots of dreams, though. I get the feeling you get a feeling there, Kerry. Okay, right. Uh, Lisa's come. Uh, Lisa's been here. She says I've been here since we since the beginning. Yes, we're here since the beginning. So here we go. So um, yes, Lisa, your question was here. Gray general reading about her son and partner. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, we're careful with this <laughs> because it's not your partner because we're taking the responsibility to someone else rather than something around you. But let's have a little look here. Right. Uh, great. Now, grey is an interesting colour because that would show worry. That shows fear to me. That shows something that we're unsure about. Unsure about here we're going. And actually, I'll use the cards on this, Lisa, and uh, just see what, uh, what comes up here. Mm. Can I um, go ahead? Sorry? Can I share? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go for it. Yes. Um, Lisa, I have a sense that... Uh, um, okay, what I'm trying to say is try not to project onto your son whatever your worries are about his relationship. Very, very good advice. I love that. I, love that. I tell you what yeah. I pick up about your son is whatever he's been through, whatever troubles or difficulties, he needs to just work through these himself. Yes. In fact, yeah. just look at the cards here, see how this comes up. Um, and where he's going with this, but the relationship to his son. I know this, I know we could look at this, and uh, this, I've got to say to you here, this is not a good time to be putting pressure on any relationship that he's in. 
because um, it won't be won't be a good idea. This needs time. Yeah. This needs time. But I do see a very nice cake coming up though, whether you're cooking it, Lisa, or it's a cake of celebration. Cake of celebration here coming up for your son. And uh, it's nice, very nice. Yes, we'll be round. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that, guys. We uh, seem to lost signal there. Now, hopefully, uh, we've just swapped it round to a different signal, and hopefully, we are back on. Sorry about that. Yes. So the uh, yeah, That's the video right. is stuck. Yes. We're hopefully we're back. Hope you can see us there, guys. Yeah. Uh, my signal's rubbish. I don't know where the signal's on, but I think it may have been one of the masts out here which would have thrown it. But uh, sorry about that. Yes. Now. Um, Yes, Janice, hopefully we were able to help you out there and hopefully that was that was good. That's brilliant. All right, let's go and... <laughs> Loads of you streaming in. I'm just trying to get back to where we were. I do apologise, uh, but I'm just going to take this from the top here to, uh, to try and remember the people who were coming through. But uh, yes, okay, good, right. Um, so... Uh, as I'm just sorting out the stream and the feed there and then things are coming back, um, let's let's just uh, work through this a little bit. So with your work at the moment, um, are you still training for people with sports and things like this? Um, I'm working with people in sports as well, but my, my passion is uh, helping people, whether they're in sports or um, an every, in their everyday life, I'm help, I want to my passion is helping them connect their physical body with their mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. Because when we manage to connect the four, the the innate ability of the body to self heal is being activated, and that leads to a generally healthier life, a more um, um, joyful life. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. yes. Good. Good. I think that's fantastic. Yes, guys, we're all back online. There was a there was an internet error, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if we get cut off, don't worry. You can watch this back. Um, you'll watch this. It's free. It's on YouTube, and it's also on Facebook. Uh, Facebook, and uh, yeah, good. Okay. Now, one of the things I like to say as well, Danielle wrote in, and she said that she wanted to know about her love life there. So uh, I, I know that she was the next one up there. So I go straight to her now. And um, yes, I got, yes. And uh, anyway, so what I'd like to say to you guys is, is Danielle, first of all, what I say to you here is I know you went for the color brown and uh, you're questioning about love and where your life's going at the moment. I get the feeling to say to you here that the warmth of love and the warmth of relationships and the warmth of where you're going, what I get the feeling will come back through into your life around about March around about much and the reason why i'm feeling here is is because i get a feeling around yourself that uh, maybe you're not ready maybe you're not quite ready here but uh, there's but what i get a, a feeling here is is you're going to have a lot to think about and a lot to work on with yourself that takes you through this and uh, and also enables enables us to um, enable us there to work through this so yes hopefully that helps you there Kerry, we just, uh, I got your message there. We've already worked with that one there. So when you go back over the signals there, hopefully you can see it when it's all there. Good. And, uh, right, yes. And let's go and have a look here. Now, um, I'm going to go to, in fact, this is a lady I go to here. Maria to 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 Titoni. Is that right? Maria Titoni. Okay. Nailed it. Says, hey, General Gold, uh, PS greetings from CY. Go, go, Midia. Okay. <laughs> now, I love the color gold. I think it's absolutely fabulous. And also what I like to say to you here, would you understand, Maria, just connect with your energy at the moment because I love your energy. It's fantastic. And uh, would you understand if I said to you here that you have got the feistiness in you now. You've got the fight in you. You've got that energy to go get, go do. Um, one thing I'd say about this year is don't be sold just by one direction that you're going in. There's going to be more, going to be more that will lead you in different pathways. And you'll go, what? But it's great. It's great. What I say here, there's also something about a new partner around you or a really good partner around you who wants to support you all the way. In fact, I think you were a bit surprised, a bit surprised here about his, about his support and where this was going. 
but uh, I've got a very good man who wants to support you. Okay. Yay. Over to you, Midia. Anything you would like to say? Well, I've already said exactly the same things yesterday. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's not bad going then, is it? That's not bad going at all. All right. And uh, okay, guys, if you'd like to ask a question out there, I know some of you were asking. Let's go and ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We go. Santa, can, um, can I? Yes. Can I go back to Danielle, please? Yeah. But, yes. Yes. Danielle hasn't yes. got her thing up here yet. Yes, by, by all means, do. I'll just take this. Uh, uh, this and uh, Alex. Yes, we'll come to you in a minute. Yes, uh, Daniel. I feel like you're. I can feel you hovering at the moment and i feel that what you what you need to be doing is ground yourself and once you once you feel inside your body and and grounded like one with the realm that we are here to be it will flow uh your love life will go where where you want it to be going that's lovely that's lovely I just think this just takes time. I think it's a very wise statement to make there. Yeah, brilliant. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, yes, okay. Um, I like that, I like that, very nice. Santa, Santa, hi, yellow. When will I meet my life partner or soulmate? Santa, what a question. Right, okay, let's work out if it's this year or not this year. Yellow, uh, yellow is, uh, you'll meet people this year. You'll meet a lot of them. And the only thing is I'll say here is, I've got to say this to you, Santa, is you are going to meet so many people this year. You'll be going, is that, is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? The thing I've got to tell you here is, is you're going to know. You're going to know, bingo. And you know what I want to say to you here is, I don't think if it's this year, it's right at the end of it. Right at the end of it. I don't pick up it's, it's earlier. And uh, so hopefully that's going to be something that was um, that's going to help help you there. And uh, hopefully it does. But I'd really pick up. It's going to be a bit later on. But your life, though, this year that I pick up for you, Senna, whatever it is you've got to do, the color yellow, you're a magnet. <laughs> you're a magnet to people who want to connect with you. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You won't find your life partner, your life partner you would you like to say anything to Sana? yes um sana i'm not sure how i should uh put this hey you will have many options you will meet new people but you will meet new people that are being attracted from your wounds Ooh. make sure that because i can feel um a past trauma related to relationships or maybe even an abusive masculine in your life make sure that you heal your wounds and you do your the work inside of you before going ahead for anything um serious like phil said you will know i can also feel that uh, but make sure that you filter everyone that comes in your way, which side of you is attracting them, your wounds or your heart. Right. Okay. Now, here's something I want to say to you guys. And I think this is a very interesting point to say to you. Sana, I'm going to say to you, just to add on to this, um, you are going to meet a lot of people this year, but you meet people on your terms. Meet people on your terms, that energy there. Um, yes, the, sorry about that. Yes, it did cut off there early and his internet just went down, but it's come back up again. And uh, yes, okie dokie. Um, Trude, I, did we do your reading? No, I didn't see it. Can yes. you write? Uh, no, we did. We did. We did? We did. Okay. Yes, we did. We did. It's in the first part, which will come back up. Let's go and have a look at the next question here, which came through. I just saw it earlier on. Yes, Alex, let's go and have a look at you. Hi, guys. Good to see you live again. Blue, please. Funeral Thursday, sad loss. Yeah. Okay, um, it's a funny time of year, isn't it, for people who are going? I mean, we just lost Meatloaf, uh, Meatloaf, and uh, Jim Steinman. He was he was an amazing, amazing guy, wasn't he? And uh, um, and one thing I'd like to say here is with uh, Blue, would you, in fact, would you understand here? Um, you know, it's okay. 
Would you understand you know this is okay? Would you understand you've already had a feeling, Alex, this is okay? When I say this is okay, would you understand you already know the presence that's with you just to let you know it's okay? It's almost they're supporting you rather you supporting them. That's one of the energies I get for you. There's no need to be too cool cards on this, but the spiritual side of this here is, in fact, I just got a lady whispered in my ear that uh, who's passed over, and she just wants to say, I just get a feeling of someone's name, either the month of something to do with their birthday or a name is June. And I'm just hearing this name to give to you, Alex, and I would like to say to you as I pick this up too, that uh, um, that's going to be something important for you. Mm. Okay. Pass you over to, to Midia. Midia, what would you like to say there? Um, hi, Alex. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm hearing, have a pint in my memory, <laughs> whatever not... that means for you. Yeah. Maybe that's what something that you used to do together. I'm not sure, but they say have a pint in my memory. You're very looked after. You know, Alex, you're very looked after. Yeah. Okay, Laura, what she came through, she just wanted to know if her life was going in the right direction. I can't remember what colour you put through, Laura, because it, the stream cut off, so I don't know. So I'm just going to go by, actually, I'm going to go by the purple heart you've got in your, I think that's a pretty neat colour to go and use. Now, the first thing I see here is, is sort out cars, sort out transport. That's the first thing I see, say to you, to make sure cars are okay and to make sure that air is all right. I also see here too, you're changing a great deal but you're changing in a way that surprised you. And would you understand here that you're getting um, earthier, stronger, more rooted to the ground, more feeling secure in yourself? Just take that energy forwards. Just keep going with that because that's going to be your guide. And I feel here too that um, for all the things that used to worry you, for all the things that used to cause you anxiety or stress, no, you're going to be, you're the one who's on top of your game. You're not in a bad place. I'd just like to say that to you. Yes. Yeah. Um, Laura, I'm picking up the same, but also some guilt around the changes that you're going about with yourself. Check with check within if those guilts are yours or imposed on you. Yeah. Yes. That's lovely. That's lovely. And uh, thank you for your lovely comments, guys. You are... Um, Santa says, thanks makes so much sense. I must admit, as soon as you said to Santa about the wounds she'd been through, oh my God, that uh, that really got me. I really took that in there. That, that was lovely. Uh, Charlie Banks, she says, um, I was mustard yellow. Oh, how nice. I didn't know you were mustard yellow. This is a very nice person to be. As you changed your name from I was mustard yellow to Charlie Banks, this is, this is interesting. Good. Okay. Well, it's nice. But I, I know what you mean. And I want to know if boys will be okay. Boys will be okay. Um, well, okay, I would like to say to you here, your boys will be stronger. They'll be more than okay, they'll be stronger. And also here, there'll be your reason. Your reasoning, your reasoning is interesting here. I get the feeling here that you'll look at this, you'll be more objective rather than surrounded in the situation that you're in. You'll, the, this is gonna make you more objective and actually going, oh, it's it's okay. It's okay. They're, they're almost going to make you feel stronger. You're worrying about them. <laughs> they're more worried about you. <laughs> mm, so that, that was a good one. Yes, and I'll pass you straight over to Midia. Uh, Charlie, I feel that your boys will be fine. More than fine. I can feel them surrounded by angels in blue. In blue. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, Lovely. I can see them surrounded by angels. Oh, that's angels. beautiful. I like that. I like that. Good, 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 good. And uh, right, okay, just checking down here. Okay, uh, let's go and have a look here. Um, okay, so yeah, Charlie Banks says, wow, thank you so much. That's so true. Well, you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes, it's, uh, it's amazing. Bro. Okay. Uh, really lovely evening. Nelly, that is so nice. I'm so glad you're enjoying it there. Uh, oh, that is lovely. Thank you so much, says Charlie Banks. And uh, Sally Mardell says, totally. And uh, okay, we're looking for, um, our vowels come through. 
Uh, sorry, guys, about the split because uh, all your information you put up on the feed, unfortunately, that dropped with uh, when the internet connection went, but never mind. Okay, blue and seven, if you have time, please, Phil. General reading, please. Okay, let's go and work on a general read. Go on, you're going to say something. Go on, go for it. Yes. Uh, well, I feel changes. Changes. Uh, not all might seem pleasant at first. But try to see through them. Yes, that's my that's my message to you. Okay, changes don't. Okay, all right. My message here is is I have a gentleman here who passed away. Very very nice man. He's bouncing around like anything. He's just attracted by attention. He's um, uh, yes, he's very much the way that of guys that a lot of them you mix with if i can say this vow sounds, it sounds hysterical this and uh but he just wants to let you know that he's okay he wants to mention islands he also wants to mention the isle of Wight. and this guy also would like to say to you here he says here that um uh it's funny the odd proposition you've got to come up in front of you he's killing himself laughing and you would say here, I'll be single all my life. <laughs> you may choose to be, but there's going to be some propositions. And you'll be there going, what? Get out of town. Get out of town. No, 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 no. I pick up here, there's going to be something there that's going to be quite nice for you. So I think, uh, <laughs> hey, bow, is a, hey, this is good. Man. So wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Hope that works there. Good. And uh, as we cruise on down the line here, let's go have a, have a little look. Um, Okay, we've got, uh, as you see, Dan and in there, and luckily it's right at the very end, but uh, Sadiq Otiendi says, Helen Graham, I've been sent to by the gods and that to just let you know, yes, he's coming through, just copy all that stuff there. You are being fast guys and just delete him. Uh, we all know he's there. Yes, camera alert. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Venetia. That's wonderful. Uh, right, okay. Um, what I'd like to say is, well, here, I'm just going to go and pick someone. Let's go and pick uh, Sally, Sally Mardell. Let me just, uh, just pick up here. I've got a few minutes here. I can't see any other questions at the moment. But uh, Sally, what I'd, I'd like to say to you here is, is um, I'd like to say here, there's going to be a lot of money that's going to be spent for part of this year. And part of it may, you may sort of think, will worry you. Some expenditure that you think is going to cost you a little bit. You're thinking, okay, are we going to be all right? Um, actually, you are, because the money that comes in later on in the year will compensate what's going on. Um, I also get a feeling as well here, you'll be really on it, really on it, Sally, when you're picking up the mode of people, their energies and everything. You'll be on it, if I was to say to you, for example, that uh, you know how people are feeling, you know what's going on with things. And uh, um, yes, you'll be very in tune. Yes, there you go. Okay, pass you over to media. Um, Sally, don't try to look the other way. Like I'm feeling like there's something literally in front of you and you're trying to, to turn your head uh, the other way. Look it straight in the eyes. You've got this. Okay, that's lovely. That's lovely. You got this. Yeah, I think I think so too. I think Sally, you're in a in a very powerful position there, and it's lovely. Oh, she says, oh, that's nice. Yes, and. Uh, Right, okay, now, um, just to mention a couple of things here, guys, um, I, I wouldn't normally put this out on air to go and say this, but she says, true, true. You ought to get that sand, a Spandau Ballet song on. True, you know, it's true. You know where they do that anyway. Yes, just just shows my colours there. Okay, and uh, also, which I'd like to say here, there's a very nice lady who's coming on to join us tonight. I'd just like to quickly stream back here. I mean, we need to talk to her for a little while. Uh, Monique, Monique, Monique Dufour, contact me, please. You'll know why. I'm sending the message through now. Do, 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 do. You can feel this. Yes, Monique, contact me. In the meantime, though, now, next week, next week is a lovely, lovely, unfortunately, we, uh, Danielle, we did yours earlier. And, uh, and also, do, 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 do. let's go and have a look at this. Uh, the other person I was going to look for here is... Just let you know, I just saw her just then. Um, actually, I'll just say is uh, lovely, lovely lady, lovely lady here. Um, Helen Grady is coming on next week. I was just looking to put a name up here, actually. And uh, come on next week. And we're going to have a very nice conversation. Now, um, we've all spoke together, haven't we? I think you've spoken to media, uh, to Helen on a few occasions, haven't you? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Absolutely beautiful lady. Very funny nature. Um, madder than me. Anyway, but uh, yes, <laughs> that's saying something. Yeah, and uh, she's coming on the show, and we're going to have a very, very, very special evening because although we'll be doing messages and things like this, a good part of the evening is going to be talking about passing over the before bit, how we help people, what we can say to people before people pass over, and the experiences we work as mediums, what it's like, and what we our experiences are as medium so it should be a very interesting show to put this together and uh yes we look forward to that but in the meantime though it will be rude not to ask media back very soon and just uh, because it's been lovely and it's been an absolute pleasure to see you and chat with you and just uh, just have spares just spend some awesome time with you and uh, everyone else who's joined us evening, thank you so much for putting up with us and for coming back on, especially when the signal went down. And it's, we really thank you for coming back and we send all our love and our burgers. Would you like a burger? A vegan ones, yeah, vegan yes. burgers. Yeah, you have a thin one, like a, like a big one. It's got to be vegan though, vegan, big vegan yeah. burger, yes. And uh, yes, we send all our love to you and we love you from the top of our bottom. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Isn't that nice? And uh, we shall see you very soon. But uh, Media, anything you want to say? Anything you'd like to say? Uh, take, take life one day at a time, guys. Wonderful. Wonderful. And yeah. thank you for all your comments, guys. And Helen Grady, there she is. I was just trying to look for your post there. There you are. So, yeah, Helen be joining me thank next you, week. Helen. And, uh, yes, that will be absolutely fine. Um, and all your wonderful heart. Any wonderful stuff there. And, and Venetia is already on to her burgers already. Wonderful stuff. Guys, loads of love. See you soon. Take care and bye, Z. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.